in the Reaper as well. And on uh, attack here, we've got Chance is going to play a Tracer. Ferg is going to be on Lucio. Cell is going to be on Reinhardt. Zelnik on Farah. Fire Sky, Zenyatta, Soup Base, Genji. Stunning. All I have to say is freedom. I'm finally out of the spawn. Although, Zelnik wishes he stayed in the spawn as he just gets immediately taken up by that Bastion. Bastion paying the blood price, but you know what? Soup Base is on the move yet again, taking out not one, but two people with a very quick double kill. And, uh... Supe is showing more of us, more of his Genji. He's been very impressive so far. Yeah, it's kind of interesting that they, they tried to hold up as far as they did and get some of those picks early on. Um, but now they are kind of falling back. The, the defense is, or one shot is. Genji comes in and takes out the Reinhardt, though. Very easy. <laughs> he takes out the Reinhardt and the Lucio. The Dragon Blade was out, and Genji making his presence known. He is single-handedly handing one shot their behinds right now. And he, is he going to get the Mercy pick? He's staying on Mercy. Mercy able to squirt away. Is escorted by Reaper. I think he's getting back out just a bit. But let's take a look at what's going on the point. Point A is under contest right now and is looking very good for False Reality to start this game. Yeah, but they do put their Mercy and their Reaper on the point, so they are going to stop the actual cap of it and do get some damage done, surprisingly. So even the trickle in defense was effective there. Yeah, you know, uh, one shot was able to solidify a little bit, but what nice play from the Genji. And sorry, my camera is freaking out right now. That is out of my control right now. Zelnik is going to get taken out immediately. Uh, three people going down for false reality and yeah one shot able to just really solidify on defense here but that's a some... man i can't get rid of the genji play genji was playing really well there yeah soup is just having himself a game uh or not a game like a tournament so far i i kind of want to see what he did the earlier games now because this has been absolutely unstoppable genji play and again i have to ask the question like we might have to see how are they going to deal with genji Yep, and right now I'm watching Laser. Laser was trying to, you know, defend as a Reaper is still trying to defend. He didn't die. My camera just went crazy. And Lucio Alt is down for the attackers. Uh, both teams holding on top here, but uh, right now Attrition is hitting the one shot pretty hard here, and this is looking good for False Reality. See that yeah, Farah with Zelnik with the aerial barrage towards the end, and I think that's going to be it. I th do believe the Pale is going to be moving in False Reality. You know, pretty convincing point A attack there. Yeah, and False Reality is just going full-on aggression, too. They're going to run their Genji forward and their Tracer forward, too, looking for uh, early on picks. Yep, and it's going to be interesting to see where One Shot decides to defend here. Uh, one Shot, you know, some some teams really choosing different cases or places to defend, but, you know, this underpass that's coming up, that is a very, very nice defense spot to defend at. And right now we, we have Suit Base going in. Suit Base... Uh, yeah, I think he got a quick pick there. He got the pick on Mercy and had them back out. Wow. Yeah, Supe's feeling overly confident again with his uh, Orb of Harmony. Just, it's, uh, this Genji is almost never going to die unless he makes a big mistake. And again, it doesn't even matter. I don't think his purpose is to kill everyone. It's like it's icing on the cake. He's back there with Tracer and they just wipe the whole back line. Yeah, I mean, Genji doing work at the Genji Tracer show in the back, able to take out so many people one shot, and False Reality just kind of rolling through here. They might get through look, this defensive point. Genji with Tracer ease. are going to their spawn. They're going all the way back. <laughs> they don't care. They even got a pick at the end, and the suit base is still rolling, dude. He is going in, and, you know, they're having a heck of a time dealing with them. Tracer and Genji taking that out. Let's take a look at the Tracer point of view. Let's not neglect Chance, as he has been a part of this one two punch in the back. And, man, one shot just cannot stop them right now. I mean, personally, I dislike playing against both these characters. I would feel like uninstalling after this. My goodness. They're just in the back. They are almost spawn camping them right now. One shot does not have an answer for this Tracer Genji aggression. Well, there's a resurrection. It's five up because they have no other way to do it. The pulse bomb comes on Tracer blinks off a cliff. Yeah, and right now one shot desperately needs to stabilize and desperately needs to sort of secure their backline against this Tracer Genji aggression that has been so effective thus far. Yeah, I haven't even seen the other players pushing. I mean, it doesn't even matter. They're back on the cart. There's no one trying to stop them because they have to deal with these super aggressive play of these assassins. Yeah, Laser was trying to secure things with the Reaper. He did take out the Lucio, but just immediately taken up by Soup Base. Oh, so many people are going down and this might be a very, very quick offensive just kind of stomping, coming out from False Reality. Wow, that was impressive. That was one of the most aggressive halves of Overwatch I've ever seen in competitive. Granted, this scene is a month old, and I've only been casting at this for two days. The point yeah, stands. Yeah, Soup base with play of the game. I am not surprised. This Genji was doing work this game. And here he is in the back. He is good. This is right at the very beginning. He takes out the Bastion, is able to just get in on the Mercy here, takes out the Mercy. Does he kill the Reaper as well? 
Wow. That was some serious ninjutsu skill. Take notes. I mean, it's just a 23 kill streak. No big deal. Epic. Yeah, you know, no big deal. Most just what? Yeah, did he even die that game? I don't think he died that game. That we was had, we had 28 ninja. eliminations and a 23 kill streak. Oh. So at some point he had five. Okay, at some point he did have to die. Yes, but it must have happened early because it seemed that as soon as him and Tracer got together, just pushing and pushing that back line that the defense was never able to catch up. Like even when they all spawned and they all came up as four, the Tracer and Genji still cut them apart. Then they had to use a res and they got cut apart again. The only thing that slowed down that aggression was Tracer back blinking off a cliff. You know, at some point the team's like, stop rezzing us. All he's doing is cutting us apart. <laughs> Let me stay dead. Ninja Sword, it hurts so bad, but we are going immediately into the second side of map two, False Reality versus One Shot. And we're gonna see if One Shot can put together an impressive defense deal with that. The time is gonna be 422. That was set on the last map, and you know, let's see if that time can be beat by One Shot, because they're now in the attack. I'll pose the question again. How do you deal with this combination of Zenyatta and Genji right now? I don't know, man. That was that was scary and impressive at the same time. No, they're gonna. It looks like they might run double Winston. We'll see when we call the teams. Again, that might be an answer. He's a little better at dealing with a Genji than a Reinhardt is, of course, because he you don't have to aim. So when Genji jumps over your head, you still got your cone of Tesla doing some damage. That might be the possible answer here. Going double Winston. Yeah, I mean, they gotta do something here. I mean, just throw out some heroes that he's bad against. You know, I wouldn't even, you know, a McCree would not be uncalled for here. McCree, I think, has a pretty nice matchup against Genji, depending on how it goes. Although, Genji can win. And, you know, on a bit of bad news, I can't get out of the spawn again, Hex. The spawn just does not like me. It is keeping me in. I'm in jail, but you know what? I'm gonna read out the defense. For false reality, we have Ferg on Lucio. E-Fire Sky on Zenyatta, Cell on Reinhardt, Zelnik on Farah, Chance on Zarya, and Soup Base on that Genji. Yeah, and as I'm hanging out in the attacker spawn with you, since there is no way out yet, just yet, gotta wait for the doors to open, I will tell you that Laser is gonna be playing Farah, Lathena is gonna be on Tracer, Morn Mornial is gonna be on Mercy, and we've got double Winstons and a potent beast and Waddle, and then straight Flex and gonna play Lucio. Yep, and the timer has started, and we are on the right way here. Red team wasting no time. Uh, one shot just wanting to get in because they have quite the time to beat here. And you know what? Let's take a look at Soup Base. Soup Base, what is he doing as Genji this game? Well, he killed one of the Winstons already and the Mercy's down. I imagine he had a part in that. Yep. Oh, he takes out the Winston as well. Those headshot shurikens doing so much damage. You know what? He's not even caring about the point. He's staying back here. He wants to get on Ferret. He is going to get that Ferret kill. And are we getting to spawn camping season already, Hex? Because this is looking very good for False Reality. Yeah, Soup Base is already just hanging out up front. Uh, almost every hero has died at least once for uh, our attacking team. And yeah, it's it's just dealing with this Genji is brutal. Yeah, Genji is just in the back, and yeah, we have two Winstons here, but you know what? The Dragon Blade is about to come out, and here comes the Dragon Blade from Soup Base. Soup Base is getting a two shot. The McCree is slicing and dicing. Winston is gonna get the Winston kill. That's a double kill. He's going in, but no, he's gonna have to put his sword away. But you know, is he gonna get the triple? He is going deep in with the assist of the orb. He's probably gonna have to back out a little bit. It's a very nice Genji play, and as of yet, one shot does not have an answer. Yeah, he does force the ultimate out of a Winston, but even the Winston ultimate's not gonna be able to shut up how this Genji's still up, still with the Harmony Blade. Another couple kills. Yep, and right now we're taking a look at Laser. Laser is running the McCree for one shot. You know, maybe they're realizing, yeah, we do run the McCree, but he gets taken out by Soup Base, and already three people are down for one shot. And I gotta say, False Reality, not really fearing too much. They're just sort of spawn camping one shot right now. I. Do you, do you start running maze here? Do you, do you run a torboard to try to deal with this Kenji? I don't I don't have the answers, clearly. They gotta do something here. But Lucio Elt is going down for one shot. One shot can use this to get some aggressive pushing. High Noon is called, and right now we're seeing Waddle getting very deep in on the Zenyatta. He's gonna force Zenyatta to blow his ult. He's gonna knock him back a little bit. He wants his Zenyatta kill. But Discord Orb coming in is gonna evade it, and suddenly, one shot looking very strong. Able to sort of turn the tides there, and they're getting point A. Yeah, they got four kills there, including the all-important Genji kill, so now they feel a little bit safe to push forward, and they are going to get this point. Yep, uh, one shot, although again, they have a very intimidating time to go for. They only have two minutes to bring this payload all the way to the end, and they have a rough road. They just sort of have to cruise through here. Yeah, but we like see Soup Ace in the back again. He is trying to kill the Mercy. Lots of people are on him. Everyone's trying to shoot him. Soup Ace not dying just yet. 
uh, still alive. A big Zarya ult going out, getting all the attackers, and Arrow Barrage coming in from Zelnik. That is going to clean everyone up. False reality, phenomenal combination of abilities, and this is looking bad for one shot. Yeah, they're doing their best there with the McCree. The McCree did get some damage from, but also, like, we don't see the Zenyatta doing a ton because that orb is always on Genji, but he's marking this Pharah too, which makes a Pharah's life almost impossible. As we saw that, literally, Genji spawn came with the McCree with the quick McCree pick, and he's chasing after Lucio, st straight flex and running for his life, and he's going to get taken up by the combination of Genji and Zarya, and this is just a overpowering right now by False Reality. Oh, but Waddle with the nice aerial barrage is going to take out the Dread Genji. Yeah, I do like that they're playing the Zarya here too on the offense. It, it does allow, or the, on the defense rather, it does allow him to stick up and kind of do what they're doing with the Genji, giving the Genji even more shields and survivability. I, I mean, if a hero can be a hard carry in this game, we're seeing it right now. <laughs> Yeah, they definitely great play coming out Genji. And by the way, the Divas are coming out. <laughs> Maybe this is the theme of the tournament right now. Are you losing? Bust out more Divas. We have two Divas and a high new coming down from Lasers. Is going to get at least one kill and some damage off of that. And uh, McCree rushing in. Gonna try and take out Genji. Genji, being a little bit evasive, is able to back out. And, you know, Lasers right now, his main job has to be tailing this Genji as McCree. He is shooting him, but that, you know, Zenyatta orb so effective. And he's just going to kind of brush off the damage and squirt away. Yeah, I wouldn't hate to see a Zenyatta come out for the offense either to put a Discord orb on the Genji, not only for the damage boost, but just to keep track of it. Yeah, and Genji, he wants to pick the Mercy right now. The Dragon Blade is coming out. He is slicing and dicing. Mercy does go down. He is still slicing, getting all sorts of damage on the back line. He is very close to killing Reinhardt. Is going to kill the Reinhardt. He is on a double kill. Is going to get the triple. He is on D.Va. Is going to kill D.Va. And once again, I got to say, Hex, this is the Genji show right now. Yeah, and they're gonna call GG there. And what's so amazing yep. too is like that Zarya shield because even though like it's it's meant to keep Genji alive, what it does on the, on the, the counter end is it, he takes so much damage from it and that charges Zarya. So not only if you kill the Genji there, you still have to deal with a fully charged Zarya beam because you had to go through the shield to kill the Genji. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, they just, that was a really tough look they had going on there. And that was some really nice play by False Reality and definitely MVP going the soup base. So we are watching the Gosu Gamers NA Weekly. We will be back in just a moment, bring you map two of False Reality versus One Shot. Stay tuned.
All right, and we are back with the Gosu Gamers Overwatch Weekly NA Cup. I am ZP, and I am joined here by Hexagrams. We're heading into Map 2 on King's Row, One Shot versus False Reality. Yeah, I'm just trying to catch up on some of the other results right now. Right now, we've got Hubris playing... Oh, yeah, Bay, May is Bay, or XDXD in the semis. No results for them yet. And also, Alpha Cast uh, on ESL just ended, and I think Team Melty won that one too, just to keep you informed of the European scene as well. That is interesting. So, Melty then continuing their dominance of EU. Uh, man, I just want to see Melty versus Hubris or not Enigma now. It's going to be difficult to pull off, you know, because someone's always going to have the excuse of the ping over the servers. But if we did, like, you That's know, true. We'll, we'll try to pull something together, I'm sure. You know, like, we'll, we'll have one map on one server, one on another. I'm sure we can figure it out. These guys are pros. They can play with 80 ping. Yep. That is the dream. So we are heading in two kings right now. This is False Reality on attack. Up a map against one shot. Should they come out on top on King's Road, they will be heading to the grand finals for today. Uh, against who, we're not sure yet, but very well could be Hubris. Yeah, either Hubris or Ties of Times team. So either way, we'll have plenty to talk about, I imagine. Absolutely. Also, I, right now I am trying to find my way out. Oh, I have found my way out. You just go through the right door on King's Row and you are free as a spectator. Yeah, I'm, Freedom. I, I, I found my way out as well. Um, we're going to be assembling teams here. Uh, I wonder what we'll see as far as... An interesting counter to this Genji play, and on this map specifically, I would not mind seeing a Symmetra here. Uh, no, I mean, a Symmetra 4.8 a can be very, very effective, although, you know, with this sort of, like, very aggressive backdoor Genji play, it might be hard for the Symmetra to stay alive against that if they were to go that for that. Yeah. Right now, it's looking like, I was going to say, right now, it's looking like the defense is not choosing the Symmetra. Instead, they're going Waddle on Zarya, Lathena on Tracer, a Potent Beast on Winston, more in all on Mercy, Laser on McCree, and Straight Flexen on Lucio. That name is awesome, by the way. I'm just saying. Yeah, Straight Flexen is a pretty proper name. Uh, right now on offense, we're going to have Chance playing Tracer. We're going to have Ferg on Torbjorn. We'll see if that stays. Fire Sky and Zenyatta, I'm pretty sure. Ferg actually switched to Lucio right now. Supe is going to be on Genji. Cell is going to be playing Reinhardt and Zelnik on Farah, so not much has changed. Chance went back to uh, Zarya rather than Tracer. So right now, we're going to take a quick look at uh, the defensive McCree here, see if he has any sort of change of play for that very, very impressive uh, Genji of Supe. Supe with the Harmony Orb again, not going to change all, and McCree gang taken out in short order, not able to counter the Genji. Let's take a look at the Genji. The Genji is going in, going to take out the Lucio. Nice Genji play, good accuracy, following up on the Discord Orb. And right now, False Reality is just rolling into this first point right now, Hex. Yeah, just a hugely aggressive initiation. The Reinhardt st like, stomped in, and they, they weren't able to focus him down, and now they don't really have the response to it. The spawns are too far back, and again, we see a super aggressive positioning by both the Genji and the Zarya pushing forward. Yep, and it's not Tracer, it is Zarya this time, and Soup Base wasting no time getting in on the back line. I think already taking out the defensive Tracer and Latina, and he is... Like, Soup Base is just going crazy. One shot, not really finding their answer to the Genji just yet. The Dragon Blade is out. He is slicing, dicing, is going to take out the Lucio, is going to take out the Winston. That is a very quick double kill for Soup Base. A triple kill on the Zarya. Man, I, I think I'm getting deja vu because I'm pretty sure I saw this just a moment ago, Hex. Yeah, I saw this uh, round ago or something. You, you you push you push forward to this Genji, you push forward to the Zarya. They work so well in concert together. And who's who's back to defend the cart? They're even pushing the Lucio up here now. Yeah, this is not a good look right now for one shot. One shot, the, getting caught a Mega Zarya ult, but not really the follow up from False Reality to really get in on that. Genji was busy with other men better or matters, and he is uh, gonna take out the Pharah. But, you know, that payload is still moving, Hex, and one shot is in a heap of trouble here. Yeah, the Zarya ult was mostly just to buy more time while this Genji gets up. But the Resurrection does come up. Now we might be able to see a hold here. Yep. Uh, I got news for you. Dragon Blade is out again. There is more slicing, more dicing. Winston, though, gonna get saved by the Lucio ult. Very timely Lucio ult by uh, one shot. Able to keep people up under the Genji pressure, but it's just too much. No one's attacking the Genji, and... He's gone down two people in this, and the payload is moving yet again. The entire red team is on fire. Uh, this is just insanity, and they're pushing super aggressive again. They're all way forward. Yep, and we saw this before where they just got right into the spawn. Soup base, wasting no time harassing the as spawn, and this is looking very, very rough for one shot. They are just getting outright overpowered and manhandled here. I'm 
Zarya going down a model and, you know, sort of a single target up, but this does win Zarya v Zarya. Yeah, well, that's because her sh or her damage beam is charged up more because she's always shielding this Genji and shielding herself, and they're so aggressive that her beam is just... It's a laser, man. Yeah, I was going to try to follow laser as he was doing some damage with Zephyr, but he was taken out in short order, and if one shot doesn't solidify soon, this is going to be a extremely fast time for False Reality, and they are rolling through here. Zenyatta alt is down. They are seem unstoppable right now. Diva getting onto the point just in time. <laughs> Quickly unleash the Divas. Aerial Barrage is going to come out for laser, but no. Uh, they just lost a little bit of presence on the point there, and wow, that was a very, very fast numb and half by False Reality. I, uh, 256. Play of the game. I just, I, yeah. I, I, wow. And uh, Soup Pace with the play of the game. I don't think anyone's surprised here. You know, are we going to see the Dragon Blade coming out? This is where the Dragon Blade came out. Slicing, dicing, it cuts through everything, and it certainly cut through one shot on the first half of King Zoro. I'm so conflicted right now because overall, I'm not a huge fan of Genji as a character. If you've watched me on the podcast at all, you know, like, I die so much to Genjis that I, I can't get around to liking him. However, I'm a huge fan of ultra-aggressive play, and he seems like the catalyst for the style that they want to do, which is super, super aggressive. Never give the other team a time to breathe, and wow, it, that is absolutely their strategy, and it's paying off so well. Yeah, I mean, that was that was just impressive. I mean, there's no other word for it, and I think one shot, they gotta dig deep, they gotta find some sort of counter to this, or I gotta say, it's gonna be false reality rolling to the grand finals. Yeah, it's 256 on King's Row. Uh, I mean, I wonder That's what- That's not a long time to, like, you. they have to roll even faster. That's gonna be tough. I wonder what the actual mathematic fastest time to do on King's Row is, because it's gotta be pretty close to that. You know, maybe 3.30? Oh, goodness sakes. Maybe, yeah. Wait, 256, that'd be like longer. It'd be maybe like 2.30? Uh, yeah, yeah, something like that. But you'd think, like, mate, there's not a whole lot of time you could have shaved, shaved off of that time there. No, certainly not. And, you know, let's just see what they brand defense. Oh. <laughs> so, normally I'd say, oh, they're just running the six bastions, but maybe they think that they can't beat the time, and they're just gonna go out with a bang, be a little bit troy, be a little bit fun. I don't know. I mean, this is the attacking team, they can't switch, but what if it's six bastions, Hex? Are we prepared? Is, uh, is the stream no. prepared? No, I don't think anyone's prepared for this. I kind of want to go into their spec and see see what's going on here. What kind of ritual they're running with these bastions? Yeah, is, there, I, is there a door I can wait. get through? There it is. There is a door. You get the door on the left. I, I'm going to take a look too. But I'll note on the defending side, we have suit base on the Genji. No surprise. Zelnik on Farah. E Fire Sky on Zenyatta. Ferg on Lucio. Cell on Reinhardt. And Chance on Zarya. And we got some sort of weird bastion ritual going on. I don't know what's happening. They're having fun. They're having as much fun as possible. Uh, you know what it's odd that we've seen, though, is that False Reality, they just run their same comp. They barely switched it up. They only switched it up to be even more aggressive, going from Zarya to a Tracer. Yep. And it is five seconds, and they are switching off the Bastions. What do you have for the attacking team, Hex? It looks like we're doing four Winstons and two Lucios, and that looks like their actual composition. Straight Flex right, and Morning All are going to be Lucio's, uh, Laser, Lathena, Waddle, and a Potent Beast, all running Winston. So one shot actually going full ape here with the four Winstons, but three Winstons going to die immediately. Ay ay ay! this is not a good day to be a gorilla. Four Winstons are down, and Lucio's just going to have to back out, because that is... That's just... Wow, what phenomenal focus for on the Winstons. I think that was really just in power, or, you know, aided by the Zenyatta uh, Discord. Someone right? call Jane Goodall, because those gorillas need some help. Yeah, those gorillas, I mean, they're going to come back in, but Winston, I've never seen Winston's get slaughtered that quickly. That was a phenomenal defense oh, by Paul's got a pretty decent health pool. He's got shields out of... My goodness. I don't know. They just died. I mean, it was death. Nothing but outright brutal death. Uh, they are putting and, the, uh, the offensive Widowmaker does come out now. Yep, but Waddle repping that offensive there, but we already have a Zarya ult, and that's going to be another dead gorilla. Someone call PETA. The grill population in the world is vastly dropping as we speak. You no, know, and Soup Base just doing his Soup Base thing. He's hanging out up front, doing whatever he wants with the Harmony Orb on him. He's one be wanting this Widowmaker. Yep. Yeah, go watching Zelnik right now. Zelnik, it's just standard uh, pressure there. Lucio is going to get that alt off from Straight Flexin, and man, Lucio, another Lucio can go down, but 
One shot really finding trouble to go through here, and I'm gonna be honest, mathematically, it might already be over. Yeah, and I think we've found the answer to counter Genji as we see six Genjis coming out from one shot. Oh, this is, you know, maybe this is out of respect to Soup Base. Soup Base playing such a good Genji, they're just like, you know what, we're all gonna be Genji. You have one Genji, we bring out Genjis to the power of six. I kinda wanna, this is, I kinda wanna see Soup Base, like, kill four of the Genjis by himself. Like, I kind of want to see that. You like, think you're a Genji? Nah. He's like a Genji black belt, high grade. I don't even know. I'm probably not. Yeah, you know, I don't even think Genji, ninjas use black belts. But yeah, whatever, man. We're just fun with it. Yeah, I think they're kind of having a good time right now. They are having a good time. They do have uh, some tracers in the back. We have the calories here, love, because we have five tracers out and. The cavalry did not have a very long lifespan, let me tell you. The cavalry's dead. <laughs> what a sad day for King's Row, especially. Yeah, this is like Tracer's home court. Home field, as it were, and... It's just the Tracer... They're all dead. Tragic, really. Absolutely yep. tragic. And there's only 20 seconds left. I expect GG to be called here any moment. And I think that was just fair. The that what you heard there was fair going off a very big kill streak, and this is gonna be final reality. Moving on to the grand finals, some very very impressive play coming out of them in the semifinals, and I can't wait to see the grand final sex. No, I mean it's been some of the most stellar play we've seen all day, you know, especially since the first round matches. But like this is such a cool composition that we haven't seen yesterday in the European tournaments or today's tournaments. Like this is the first real a sustained, legitimate Genji play we've seen, and it has been absolutely unstoppable. Yep, uh, Soup Base, although it will be interesting, we'll see, you know, if they're up against Hubris, I don't know if Hubris has advanced, but let's say they are up against Hubris, that's gonna be a situation in where, you know, will he have that level of success? It's much, it's very difficult to get to the back of Cool Mat. Cool Mat is, you know, he, very accurate, will uh, sort of punish Genjis and stuff. GG's being called, it was GG a little bit ago. So we're gonna get out of this, we're gonna wait for the Grand Finals. In fact, we're going to take a look at the bracket real quick. But great play by Final Reality. They have secured themselves a spot in the Grand Finals.